Welcome to DIY RV and Home Campers Life. My name's Greg. This is the first in our series on our upgrades to our electrical system in our 2018 Coleman Lantern 202RD. This video, I want to just go over how we're going to protect our electrical system, the DC side, and what components we're going to use and where we're going to use them. First off, I've got a 400 amp ANL fuse. This is going to be our catastrophic protection. This goes within eight inches of our battery positive on our main cable. So if we have a catastrophic failure of our system, this will blow before the batteries fail and not good. So catastrophic failure. Okay. Now further on down the line, There might be some of these, and as we go with this video, if I do add those, I will tell you about it, where I'm going to do it. Next, let's talk about resettable circuit breakers. This one right here is going to be for our solar array. I'm going to have one for the inverter also. And what this is, is this will go on the positive side of our cabling coming into the solar charge controller. And I can actually press the button on the front of it, the red button, and you see the flag drop down. That means that this is disconnected. The power is no longer going through. This will be good for when I have to disconnect my batteries. I'll need to disconnect the solar prior to disconnect the battery, so I can hit that button and make sure it's disconnected. If I need to do some work on the wires the solar charge controller, anything after this, I can just press it and disconnect that. Or if I have a short failure over amperage of my solar arrays, this can uh, this will trip, and the little flag right there will let me know. We're also putting that on the inverter on the positive cable coming into the inverter and that will allow us to be able to disconnect the power again to the inverter if I need to service it. Uh, let me know if it, I get an over amp, if there's an issue, a problem. Now I'm going to be doing a 300 amp breaker there. I've got a 2000 watt inverter with a 4000 watt peak. So I'm putting 300 amps on that right there. So that's what these are for. Now, my solar array right now is only 200 watts. I do in the future plan on adding and upgrading it to at least 400 watts. Also upgrading the solar charger to a MPPT solar charge controller, excuse me. So this breaker right here is 50 amp. I've got that rated for my updated, upgraded system that I want to do. So, for the protection, for current, I'm also going to be adding some inline fuses. Okay, OTC fuse. They will be 30. This one right now is 20 amp. It's just, I didn't have any 30s in my stock. This cable will handle the 30. The way it'll work is, I will have the solar cable come in. I'll have this where I can break it, and this will be the positive side of the solar wire. And then this will go from here to the controller. That way, if I do have the over amperage, it'll pop. And then on the other side, it wants a 30 amp fuse going from the controller out to the batteries. So I've got that. So that's where the two resettable breakers are going to be, and then some inline fuses. Now, we're going to have the catastrophic fuse at the batteries, and it's going to go inside of our basement, where it's going to branch out. And that branch is going to the inverter, which we're already protected with the circuit breaker. And we're also going to be going to a uh, bus bar. Now I've got a black and a red, so I got a positive and a negative one. I just pulled the positive, the negative one out for show. But I'm going to bring in 
and I'm going to have a 40 amp breaker tied to this and then off of one of these lugs is going to be a 30 amp and that will go back to the power distribution center for the trailer so we'll have that wire protected and then I have room here where I can come off and I have a couple other wires that I need to fuse out and those are going to be dependent on what I'm doing I one thing I'm not putting in is a fuse block at the front of the trailer. I don't have enough accessories that I'm tying off of the bus to warrant putting a breaker or putting a fuse block there. So we're going to do it this way. So that's where some of the protection is and why I'm doing the protection. This right here has got a bimetal uh, material inside that actually uh, expands at a different rate so it actually will move. Uh, flex and when it flexes it will pop and trip the breaker and how it does that is by heat um, and that's the heat generated um, and amps going across the material so hopefully this helped you understand why the fuses are in different locations why catastrophic uh, why we're using a catastrophic fuse versus a circuit breaker um, and inline fuses. Hope you got something out of this video. If you did, please hit the like button, share, and subscribe. And hope to see you at the next video, which is we're going to be discussing a battery monitor system that uh, we picked up that we're going to be putting in this uh, upgrade.